approach my area. Come. Oh, oh hail, hail, great master. <laughs> Grave sir, hail. I come to answer thy best pleasure. Be to fly. To swim. To dive into the fire. To ride on the curled clouds. To thy strong bidding. Task Ariel and all his quality. So I cast four people to play Ariel so that it could, Ariel could go, I go, I go, and go in four different directions. So that was my, my best ability to create a non-human Ariel that also could come together and be one and speak directly to Prospero. It's very interesting that we split Ariel into four people. Usually it's just one and then, you know, but I think this brings a whole new life to Ariel because we're able to separate and come together. It's definitely inhuman, as Ariel should be. Ariel is probably the, the main spirit of the island. Like, they're kind of in charge of all the others. And as Earth, I felt obviously very grounded the whole show. I was able to be low and connected to the Earth, and I felt from that kind of like the whole Mother Earth maternal instinct towards all the other spirits. Uh, in most interpretations, the text indicates that Ariel is made of air and Caliban is of the earth. But be, the way we did it, Caliban is like a fish monster man, and Ariel is all of the elements, which I think is very interesting. It was definitely more of a challenge to understand what you're saying when it's split among four people. Uh, we did a lot of work with catching the lines one after the other, making sure that it all flows into one you know, paragraph. First was the audition, where we just do a monologue and sing a few bars, and then you know, we get a call back, and we go to, actually, Belmont's Trout Theater, and we uh, get split into groups, we read with each other, and we explore physicality. We also play instruments, because music is a huge part of this show. But in the, like, callbacks and whatnot, we did a lot of experimentation with physicality and how we move as different elements. So we were picked for our elements. We did a lot of training during the summer, which was six days a week from two to nine every day. And rehearsals also were like five hour, like six days a week. So it was definitely a lot of time, but luckily it was before school started. I'd have to say just being able to work with professionals in Nashville is a huge opportunity for me. Uh, as a member of the apprentice company, you know, we're a group of 13 to roughly 18 year olds, actually older than 18, but just young people in Nashville that we get to work with actual professional and equity actors. I think that was really exciting.